Welcome back to a new video from the Visual Arts Classroom in uh, Sacalvenis Secondary School. Uh, let's think of a polygon and uh, the tangents that could be related to, to it. Uh, this is uh, only an example. You could be working with any kind of polygon, regular or even irregular, on any, on any number of sides. Well, uh, the first thing you must keep in mind is the the kind of, of question you are asked. For example, uh, if, if you had to to draw a circle standing to every side, uh, this is the process you must uh, follow. Uh, first of all, you need to work the uh, angle by sector on every on every angle of the polygon. Uh, so I'm going to start from point A, drawing the angle by sector. You already know very well how to do that, so I'm going to perform the task as soon as possible. Yes, so I get the, the, the point and this is going to be the new angle by sector on point A. Yes. Um, and let's keep working in, in following such a process. Uh, you can break down the polygon in any in the same n number of uh, isosceles triangle as sides has the polygon. So it's, it's quite clear. Let's let's keep going from point B, for example, in other in alphabetical order. I'm going to keep going this way. Let's change the color of the of the line so that we can better distinguish. So as you can see here, uh, we we get a triangle. If I join th this point with the the rest of the vertices of the polygon, I could get all the isosceles triangles uh, needed. Of course, you could keep going with the drawing the angle by sector from every vertice, but this is not necessary at all. So next next thing to do in order to, to draw a circle that is going to be tangent to uh, every side of the polygon and also to every other uh, circle uh, is just to, to, to work again a new angle by sector. I'm going to get rid of these auxiliar lines that are not needed any longer and I'm going to, to draw a new angle by sector from here and um, from this point you can tell that in this case we are just getting the angle by sector over here of this angle so the half of the former angle, the angle from which we had started, and I'm going to draw the other angle by sector and getting rid of course again of the lines. Sorry, I don't need any longer. Yes. I'm going to draw this angle by sector, the angle by sector of this angle, so half of the angle I already have. So let me work a little bit with the compass and, and I join this two points. So I have th this new point. This is going to be one of the uh, solutions I was looking for. So um, I'm, I'm going to, to draw a new a new line. This is going to be perpendicular from this point with a different color red, for example, to the side AB. So this is going to be the radius. I'm going to draw 
with a the compass is going to be a little bit smaller so I'm going to take until yes this point and I'm going to draw the circle the circle must be par uh, a tangent to side AB and also to all the sides of the uh, triangle that broke down the whole uh, pentagon why? because this is it um, in center uh, it's a very important point inside that uh, any triangle if I uh, could keep if I kept working the same way I could have uh, all over the, 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 the pentagon the same uh, amount and, and uh, type of kind of, of circles so for example if I kept drawing from here this is the, the point why I'm doing that because all these points are on the same circle so all the solutions are over here uh, what do I have to do? Um, it, it's quite easy it's just from uh, this this uh, angle I could draw also the uh, angle bisector I mean this I'm going to, to draw this one this is a new angle bisector you can see it yes let's keep going from this point oh, sorry yes yes so I have this intersection point yes and I'm going to take the radius already because th this radius is the same on every triangle inside the, the pentagon so I'm going to work with it drawing a new circle oh, of course my, my drawing is not accurate because uh, it's very difficult to, to work accurately uh, but you should in your drawings uh, if you follow the right steps so uh, if you kept working the same way you could have uh, all over the, the pentagon uh, uh, five circles that are going to be tangent to every side of the polygon and uh, of course among them too so that's all